Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the meridian basics and understanding uh, treatment charts. So um, traditional Chinese medicine uses meridian systems and if you think of meridians they are think of them as the energetic highways or perhaps even like the electrical wires running in between your walls and connecting light switches together and if i flip on that switch it'll turn on that light and if i flip on that switch it'll turn on maybe the same light or and then next to it it'll turn on a different light so meridians are these energetic highways that run throughout the body and if uh, uh, organ or there's an injury or there's an energetic blockage it can either decrease the energy um, running through the meridian or it can kind of give a, a overactivity of the meridian and so how do we know what meridians and all of that stuff so this is a little bit about how to decipher like what meridians we're using like when you see our treatment charts so um, if you have an acupuncture book now this happens to be um, our book uh, light therapy but it can be even if you're looking at anything from an acupuncture perspective so the first things first to know which meridian you're working on is that you'll see two little letters. So I'm gonna use pericardium as an example. The abbreviation for pericardium is PC or PE. Um, they're both the same. They both mean pericardium meridian. And if you could imagine, like if we had to write down the full word pericardium meridian for each little point, you wouldn't be, you know, there just wouldn't be enough space. So that's why acupuncture systems put abbreviations by each meridian. So I'll go through that with you. So GV is governing vessel, CV is conception vessel. I wanna talk about these two meridians First, these are considered extraordinary meridians. And what that is, is they only have one channel. So conception vessel goes right down the middle. Uh, governing vessel goes right down the middle of the back. So there's only one conception vessel channel. There's only one governing vessel channel. So when you see points that have a GV or a CV, you only illuminate just that point. The reason that I'm pointing this out is we're going to talk about, say, our pericardium meridian. And so pericardium meridian is going to run here, but it also runs here. So even though it's we're talking about one meridian, it is a mirror image on both sides of the body. So it's not just the left leg that has a pericardium meridian, or it's not just the right leg that has the pericardium meridian. So it has, so it's a mirror image thing. So when you see on your chart, like PC6, um, you're going to illuminate both sides of the body. Does that make sense? Now I'm just using this as an example. Um, just as an example, I just want to give you a good visual. So um, pericardium meridian is not actually on your leg. I just want to make that clear, but I just wanted to give you the example of that. So. We're gonna go through the rest of the meridians. So pericardium is PC or PE. Liver is L, small i, or LIV. So there's a couple ways of doing that. And I'm mentioning this because a lot of people use different resource materials. We have ours um, charted one way to make it easy to understand. So we've gone through pericardium, liver, LI or LIV. Spleen is SP. Um, kidney is KI. Triple heater, triple mm -hmm. TH. That is the abbreviation for that. 
Um, the next one is large intestine, L, capital I, small intestine, S, I, capital S, capital I, stomach is S, T, and then we also have um, our um, heart, H, T, and then we have our bladder, which is BL. So when you see those, anything with that abbreviation, that means you're going to illuminate both, both points on both sides of the body. So um, you want to keep that in mind. The other thing is that with our charts specifically, we have um, there are colors associated with each meridian. And so when we designed our charts, we designed them so that the points represent the color of that meridian as well. So you could use that as part of your practice. A lot of advanced practitioners will utilize um, additional uh, techniques in color therapy. So we wanted to incorporate that as well. So super simple when you are using your charts. If you um, go to illuminate a GV point or a CV point, you are going to do just one time on that point. If you see any other abbreviations, and you see it displayed on the left leg, you're also going to do it on the right leg so that you make sure to get the energy moving through both of those channels. So that is your basic introduction on using the meridians and how to utilize our charts.